Sweet Valley Kids, surprise, surprise, chapter one, six days ago. Elizabeth wakes up and remembers her seventh birthdays in six days. Elizabeth then wakes up Jessica by throwing her stuffed koala at Jessica, and Jessica, still under the covers, wanted to know if it was time to get up. Jessica gets up and she remembers why Elizabeth is so happy it's almost their birthday she almost forgot. We then get the twins' description. They go to Sweet Valley Elementary, long blonde hair with bangs and blue-green eyes. They have a dimple in their left cheek when they smile. They are in Mrs. Becker's second grade class. Jessica was noisy and liked to pass notes, and Elizabeth was quiet and liked to write poems. Jessica decided to wear matching yellow sweatsuits. The yellow sweatsuits had white flowers. The twins had matching name bracelets they wore on their wrists. Jessica said as the closet was always messy. Then they, wa then they wondered what they will have for lunch, and they hoped for tuna fish and peanut butter cookies. Then Jessica chose barrettes in the shape of a bow to wear to school for, th for that day. Sweet Valley Kids, surprise, surprise, chapter two, twins' birthdays. The twins get off the school bus and we find out they're having a spelling test that day. Elizabeth always gets better grades than Jessica. Sometimes Elizabeth did Jessica's math homework. We then meet Lila Fowler and we learn she has a lot of nice clothes and sneakers. Elizabeth thought Lila was bossy and thought she was better than others. We then meet Ellen Rittman. We also meet Lois Wallers, who wanted to join them, but she was chubby and Lila always made fun of her. We learn of the party Lila is excited about. Jessica and Elizabeth's party was on Saturday. Lila got Jessica a great present, but won't say what it is and make sure Ellen does not say. We learn Jessica had a, a two-page list of things she wanted, including a pony and a guitar. Then Lila wanted to know what Jessica got for Elizabeth, and we see Elizabeth forgot to get Elizabeth anything. Elizabeth was in the classroom talking to Winston Egbert. Winston was always trying to make people laugh. Then while Mrs. Becker reviewed the homework from last night, Jessica decided what she was getting Elizabeth. Sweet Valley Kids, surprise, surprise, chapter three, party plans. Elizabeth and Jessica are walking to the school bus on Tuesday morning, and we meet their brother, Stephen, who is in the fourth grade. Stephen doesn't want to go to the twins' party. Elizabeth tells Stephen that the party won't be dumb. Everyone is invited to the party. Then they have to decide what food will be at the party. Elizabeth thought of hamburgers and hot dogs, but Jessica thought they were messy. Elizabeth suggested tacos, but Jessica thought they were yucky. So Elizabeth then asked Jessica what she wants. Then we stop in front of the school bus where we meet Todd Wilkins and Charlie Tashman. Todd always pays with Elizabeth. Jessica suggested corn on the cob, but they can't do that due to loose teeth. Then Todd suggests pudding. We learn the twins take modern bands. Jessica suggested grilled cheese, but Elizabeth wants something special, and they finally decide on pizza with pepperoni. Sweet Valley Kids, Chapter 4 of Surprise, Surprise, Jessica's Secret Plan. We start with Jessica at dance class, and she's wearing a black leotard and pink tights. Lila comes in wearing a red leotard. The dance class starts by learning a new move, and Lila's excited about the party and everyone's invited. Lila says even Winston, he will eat the whole cake. He eats even more than Stephen. Lila knows what Ellen is getting for Jessica's party, but will not tell. We learn Jessica, Lila, and Ellen all have new dresses for the party. When Jessica was at the mall, she saw the light blue velvet headband with a bow that was perfect for Elizabeth, but Jessica will have to find another way to get it without Elizabeth finding out. Sweet Valley Kids, surprise, surprise, chapter five, the perfect present. It is Wednesday morning and Elizabeth is reading Hedgehog Holiday and eating cinnamon raisin toast. Stephen asks where his mom is and Ned says Jessica and Alice had to, had to talk about something. Jessica and Alice come into the kitchen. Alice asks Elizabeth if she wants to play with Caroline after school. Caroline Pierce lived two doors down from them. Then Elizabeth finds out that her mom and Jessica had some errands to do and Jessica refuses to tell Elizabeth where she is going. In the afternoon, the class was arranging leaves on paper. Elizabeth had glue on her hand and tried to was trying to make a design, but all she could think about was Jessica. And, uh, and Jessica was sharing a secret with Ellen and making Elizabeth jealous. And Lois needed help as Charlie stuck a leaf on Lois. 
Sweet Valley Kids, surprise, surprise, chapter six, The Secret Mission. We started with Jessica thinking about her favorite, a chocolate cake. Alice is going to order two chocolate cakes with marshmallow icing and sprinkles on top. Todd wants to know if Jessica wants robots or garbage goo as a gift. Jessica says that it is gross and only boys like that. Jessica gets in trouble for talking in class and she gives a note to Todd saying no yucky stuff. Ken Matthews wants to know if Jessica likes stuffed animals because he could give her one. Jessica believes stuffed animals were for little kids. Ken asks Elizabeth if she wants a catcher's mitt, which makes Elizabeth's cheeks turn pink. After school, Jessica goes to the mall with her mother. Jessica wants to make sure her mom has kept her promise. When they get to the store, Jessica has to choose from her blue the blue velvet bow or a pink silky one. She decides to get the velvet bow, but Alice wonders if that's right for Liz. Sweet Valley Kids, Chapter 7 of Surprise, Surprise, Elizabeth's Secret Plan. On Thursday, Elizabeth, Jessica, and Stephen rushed into the kitchen after school. Elizabeth took a plate of cream sandwich cookies and shared them with Jessica. Stephen poured a glass of milk and drank it. Alice says it's party dress shopping day. Jessica says she wants a dress with ruffles on the bottom and a big bow sash. Elizabeth said it makes us look like dolls. Elizabeth got Jessica a little race car that flipped over and spun in circles when wound up. Alice wasn't sure Jessica would like it. Jessica loves to buy new clothes. Elizabeth first picks out a green dress with short sleeves. Jessica picks up, up a pink dress with puffy skirt and white lace. Elizabeth didn't like the pink one, and Jessica didn't like the green one. Jessica said the green one was just a school dress, and Elizabeth said the pink one you can't play, play in. But Jessica says we can play inside. Jessica then found a black velvet dress with red satin sash. Then they found the dress. Alice does point out it doesn't have a ruffle or a bow. The dress was red with, with long sleeves and had small pink and green flowers. And then they got new shoes to match. Sweet Valley Twins, Chapter 8 of Surprise, Surprise, Counting the Hours. On Friday, in gym class, it was announced they would run a three-legged race. Lila says she'll be Jessica's partner, but she says Elizabeth is always her partner. Jessica knew she and Elizabeth could win. Charlie Cashman, Jerry McAllister, tripped Annie Franklin and Winston Egbert. Todd and Ken were running together, but they fell down. The twins were going to win. Lila and Ellen were still running, but couldn't catch up. When the kids got back to class, they went to look at the class hamster named Tinkerbell. Elizabeth wanted to take the hamster home for a weekend, but Jessica just saw it as a rat. The girl's teacher brought brownies for the girl's birthday. The brownies had candles in them. Caroline wanted to help pass out the brownies. Winston says it's only one day till the twins' birthday. Sweet Valley Kids Surprise, surprise, chapter 9, party time. Elizabeth wakes up Jessica, and it was finally their birthday. Ned came in and gave them both big hugs and wanted to know what it was like to be seven. Jessica said, so far, it's better than being six. Alice was making a special birthday breakfast. After their breakfast, a blueberry pancakes with maple syrup. The twins put up pink, white, and yellow streamers. Ned blew up matching balloons. Then it was time to put on their party dresses. Winston was the first to arrive. And after everyone arrived, Lois wanted to know when they would open them, Elizabeth said after some games. Alice says it's time to play the first game, and Jessica wants to know if it's pin the tail on the donkey. Alice says nope, it's sardines, which was Elizabeth's favorite game. Elizabeth and Jessica would hide first. They chose to hide in the bathtub in their parents' bedroom. The first to find them was Todd and then Amy. The last person to find them was Winston. Then Ned said it was time for presents. Sweet Valley Kids, Chapter 10 of Surprise, Surprise, The Big Surprise. Alice decides they would open the presents in the order people arrived at the house. Winston's presents was two stuffed dinosaurs. Lila's presents was a dollhouse and furniture for the dollhouse. Todd got presents very different because he said the twins were very different. Jessica's was a necklace with a ballerina charm, and Elizabeth was a notebook with a picture of a hamster. The hamster looked just like Tinkerbell. Amy gave Elizabeth two new books and Jessica an autographed album. Ellen gave the twins new leg warmers for dance class. Ken gave them a poster of a rainbow that was to be for their bedroom. Elizabeth and Jessica opened their presents and realized they didn't like them. Todd even asked if the presents were mixed up. The twins realized they bought each other what they wanted. 
Then they had their pre their birthday cake with eight candles. An extra one was for good luck. Elizabeth wished she was able to bring Tinkerbell home for the weekend.